story is there where is a problem and there is a process of the resolution of the problem so in this process if you try to understand what is a central conflict in your story and how your protagonist struggle to resolve that conflict so there is a structural value of the story so if you see the structure of any story you can find it into the traditional way of a three act structure if you divide your story into three sections so act 1 act 2 and act 3 so in short which is defined as a setup conflict and a resolution so if your story you can divide into the three sections so you can observe these three sections that how the first part is a setup and how the second part is a conflict and how the third part is a resolution now we'll try to understand what is a setup what is conflict and what is a resolution see naturally what happens if you know that who is a central conflict who is a central character and what happens to that uh, central character and finally how that protagonist or central characters achieve the reason of from that central conflict so if you divide this into three sections the first section is called act one which is a setup and setup is around 20 to 25 percent of the story in which the setup setup of the story will be there like who is the person about who are going to understand the story what is his or her surrounding what is the culture what is the geography and once you have introduced to the surrounding of your principal character and what are the norms of the that particular story and that particular character so at the end of section one there is a particular point comes that is called plot point one so once you have established the act one and in the act one if you have a set up who is your protagonist what is the situation what is the culture what is the uh, a certain details and at one particular point something goes wrong with the protagonist and there is a twist in his life or in the situation and that particular twist or that particular critical situation which turns the story that becomes a plot point one and it arises at the 20 to 25 percent of your story so as early, uh, already I have told you that first the situation is balanced then it becomes imbalanced and finally it becomes a balance so the point where situation becomes imbalance is called plot point one so you must know that what can be the particular event or a situation or a scene at that particular plot point where your story get a new direction so in the beginning 20 to 25 percent you have to introduce your characters introduce your situation introduce the culture introduce the certain details which will help audience in future to relate all the complicated situations logically so first part is also 
the establishment of the rules of the game and once we have entered into the plot point in the uh, uh, act 2 so act 2 is the largest part of the story in which you will see the struggle of your protagonist and it's almost of 50% of the, your story it's a struggle and a conflict and the entire heroism of your protagonist so either protagonist or that community or the situation how they struggles with the situation how they struggles to remove the obstacles from their uh, story from their situation from their uh, uh, um, journey so you try to understand that once you have established the central conflict so central conflict can be somebody kidnaps a woman who is a politician so if you know that the central conflict is about the kidnapping of the woman so don't make the mistakes between the obstacles and the conflict so if to resolve the central conflict there are n numbers of obstacles like there is no passport to enter into the next uh, country or there is no money to travel or there is um, some physical problem some health problem or some financial problem or some so these are the obstacles in resolving the central conflict so if you know that your plot is having very interesting idea about the kidnapping of a woman then surrounding should be very very interesting where you will have to add the content about how your protagonist becomes a hero or a heroine or how they are doing a heroic act so as per your creative skill your intellectual skill or with the references of the research you will have to add the certain value in the struggle of your protagonist